global exposure to Evergrande. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee, we're going to look at a Reuters article discussing just some of the companies that have global exposure to Evergrande. We've been following this for, well, some time now and it's definitely in the news. So, Blue Bay, BlackRock, Ashmore and UBS exposed to Evergrande according to Morningstar. And I've got to move back over here so we can see this. BlackRock Inc., well, not surprising, Royal Bank of Canada, Blue Bay Asset Management are among asset managers exposed to embattled developer China Evergrande Group, while TCW and HSBC funds have closed positions, researcher Morningstar said. In an analysis Morningstar published on September 24th, Morningstar also said UBS Group AG and London-based Ashmore Group PLC funds retained significant holdings in Evergrande debt based on data current as August end. Funds run by Fidelity and Sinopac held sizable investments, it said. Blue Bay told Reuters its holdings were very limited and that it had been reducing it since August's end. None of the other asset managers provided comment. Evergrande owes $305 billion and has run short of cash. Some investors worry a corporate collapse could pose systemic risks to China's financial system and reverberate around the world. Last week, Evergrande failed to pay interest on a $2 billion bond maturing in March, It will default if it makes no payments within a 30-day grace period. HSBC Holdings, PLC's Asset Management Division and Fund Manager TCW exited Evergrande positions in September and August, Morningstar said. HSBC declined to comment and TCW had no immediate response. Credit Suisse Group, not mentioned by Morningstar, sold its entire exposure to Evergrande debt last year. The Financial Times reported on Friday. Fellow Swiss bank UBS has Evergrande debt exposure totaling $283 million across multiple portfolios, Morningstar said. Ashmore's runs to $146 million both declined to comment. Morningstar had earlier noted BlackRock's exposure had recently increased. In its Friday analysis, it said Blue Bay had gradually started adding. The investment team proactively reduced exposure to the company earlier this year, Blue Bay said in a statement. Morningstar did not give a dollar total for Blue Bay exposure, though the researcher listed two Blue Bay funds in its top exposure list with exposures of about $8 million in July, along with an index tracking fund managed by BlackRock, which is said to have about $1.5 million in exposure in ex- September. BlackRock denied to comment. Evergrande's dollar bonds have been tumbling since May, when the group was late in paying suppliers. A $1 billion bond with a coupon payment date uh, payment due next week last traded at the distress level of $0.27.5 cents on the dollar. Of the other fund managers mentioned by Morningstar, only T. Rail Price Group, which closed its Evergrande position last year, had immediate comment when contacted by Reuters. A, pr- a period of elevated high-yield default rates may lead to dollar market access being shut for some weaker issuers. Sheldon Chan, portfolio manager of t Rail Prices Asia Credit Bond Strategy, said in an email response, This may keep volatility elevated and presents attractive entry points to add exposure to the sector. So there we go, everyone. What's the takeaway or the consideration here? Well, while we're seeing all of this exposure to Evergrande, we're not seeing huge amounts. We're not seeing significant chunks of portfolios. Sure, it's significant amounts of money, but is it significant for these organizations? I think the greater concern is the impact on the wider Chinese economy and how that will reverberate through there. And, well, a decrease in demand for iron ore is certainly going to have an impact on Australia's economy, among other things. We'll have to wait and see if it's material. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hang on. If you're a fan and enjoy the articles I find and put together here, there are a few ways you can help out. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. 
sign up for Self Wealth or Stake. Use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve or Aussie Broadband. You can buy our merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.